What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Cypher Diaz, Cedric L. Jackson. And I got a, a panel full of rock stars today. We're going to talk about uh, speed blogging and creating uh, images to use in your marketing. So why don't we uh, have everyone introduce themselves, starting with Holly. Hey, I'm Holly. I'm with Tag Team Moms. Linda is my battle buddy partner in crime, and we are moms to nine children. We've been network marketing and internet marketing for almost two years now. No, that was just a background noise from Nestor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's background? Okay. Well, I wasn't yeah. trying to be rude. No, no, but, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> and I think uh, we've pretty much got this whole doing videos thing down to almost an epic science. We haven't shot many videos here lately because life's been just doing really awesome, and we've been helping out our community and stuff. So we've kind of backed off doing our videos, but that hasn't that doesn't mean we've backed off business by any means. So, yeah, that's what this, this business is all about is being being able to have a life and still make, you know, decent income. So, but yeah, we've got some really good tips and ideas for you guys today. And I'm going to pass it over to the guy next to me. <laughs> Which is probably me. Yeah, you got a feed right here. Sorry about that, guys. But, uh, I mean, uh, today's going to be a powerful, powerful webinar because, you know, you're going to be able to learn how to do your blog very, very fast, which is something that I've been very impressed with. I've been actually blogging all over the place. I was in Disneyland uh, what this on Sunday a, few, a couple of days ago, and I actually did a video from Disneyland. I actually put it up up in, uh, on the on the website. I and had the whole all set. Up. It took me uh, it, the longest that it took was probably actually to for the video to upload. After that, it, it actually uploaded nice, and it, it was a simple process to do. Uh, you will be uh, minding me right here because I do have my, my daughter right here with me. So <laughs> uh, most of us do work, work and you know take care of children and stuff. So they, which is uh, that's badass right there. You know, sorry for the bad words if you. <laughs> but uh, um, I, I, that's why I love it, man. Because you know, this is a, a powerful thing. So I don't know if I if I did say my name. My name is Nestor Nidome, and I'll pass it down to the next guy on the side. <laughs> How's it going, guys? It's Ralph. Uh, I'm from Latvia. I have no idea. You probably never heard of that place where it is. So uh, basically I found myself here like almost a year ago when I actually couldn't find a job. I was looking for a job and I couldn't find it. So I jumped into this and now I'm, I'm blogging like over a year now and having pretty decent good results with it. So hopefully we'll share with you some some killer strategies today and some of my own experience I will absolutely share with you so just, just watch it guys yeah we look forward to hearing from you uh, especially because we've all hung out before on the panel we've never actually got to do a hangout with you and I see you over there I see you getting results and I see you doing big things over there so I definitely want to hear some uh, some input from you today so let's jump right in it. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Make sure I do this right. There you go. All right. So let me lower this. And here's our Empower Network back office right here. Now, I was watching a little bit of the training in the 15K. So I'm going to go to write a post. And this is exactly where you would come to start uh, with your blog. Now, when we say speed blogging, what we mean is, is that you could put together a, a blog post in literally like 10, 15 minutes. For me, it's probably going to be like closer to like 20. Uh, I don't know about the, the rest of the panel. They, they probably have it down to a science to do it. Uh, you know, maybe Ralph's can do it in like two minutes. I don't know. But uh, it, it takes me a little bit longer. So my content is basically... I found an article on uh, ESPN, and this is big businesses copy the same dynamic of speed blogging. ESPN did a uh, a little video about the top ten most disliked NFL players, but they didn't originate the the, uh, the content. The content was actually originated by Forbes.com. So basically, all I'm going to do is go through the little list, put it up on my blog give a link to this page 
and then I'll be done and just that quickly. I've already went through and I found a picture. Where'd it go? I can probably show you somewhere else because I found a picture that I wanted to use to actually use it for the blog. So if I come back over here, let's go to let's go to images. Now you're gonna have to, you know, kind of bear with us because when we're doing these hangouts, nice, I like that. I have to read lock at least the password's still in there. At least I don't have to type that all in. That's a password right there for you guys if you're not familiar. <laughs> I always keep a very long password because I don't want to get hacked. Okay, so let's go back to right post and we're gonna click on the image button here. Actually, let me just bring it down one. Okay. So I go to my computer, browse. I've already picked out a picture for this image that I want to use. Today. <laughs> okay. I think the reason why you're running so slow, brother, is because you're pumping a lot of bandwidth right now, so your computer's running a little bit slower, but on average, um, I mean, it takes less than two minutes, Absolutely. not even two minutes, probably yeah. less than a minute to get a normal picture uploaded. Yeah. It's really, really fast. Just when you're hosting this, these type of things, it, it completely slows you down. So here's a picture right here. Now, I've got... Uh, Three people in the picture, which is uh, Michael Vick, Tony Romo, and uh, Phillips Rivers, and that 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 sparks controversy in itself because Philip Rivers is not among the top ten, but uh, Tony Romo and Michael Vick are. So I wanted to I want people to click on it and, and you know and be like well how come he's not in there because I don't you know I want them to wonder. Of all three of these, or is it one of them? You know, just create a little bit of controversy. So you can just come up here, uh, top ten most disliked players in the NFL, right? Then you give it a title here, and then you can just literally you go back to Forbes. They have a little bit of a, a, a snippet here that you can kind of copy or just you know spin in your own way, and you can go through that with all ten players, and then you would be done. It would literally take you maybe 15 minutes. I don't want to spend 15 minutes showing you guys because I want other people to show their strategies too of what they do. But that's exactly how we do it. And then you just finish up the post after you've got all your your ten players in there. You at the very bottom you just leave in a call to action. You know this is what we do. We uh, market on the internet. We go out, find content, share it on our own blogs versus doing with this company. Like most people would come to this site and they would just grab this right here, share it on Facebook, and they won't make a dime off of it. So my, our strategy is a lot different. We, we take the content, just talk about it ourselves, put it in our own words. It takes us, you know, maybe 15. 20. If you're brand new, maybe it'll take you an hour the first time. You know, it shouldn't, but maybe it will. And just go share it on Facebook with your friends, and your friends are gonna click on it because they click on stuff when you share it all the time. And then, if you're sharing it from your blog, this is an opportunity for you to make money in this business, and that's exactly what we do. So I'm gonna pass the screen over so uh, we can get some more examples of <clears throat> how other people do their uh, their speed blogging. So. Do you guys want to go in just like our order that we have down here on the bottom of the screen, or how do you guys want to do that? Sure. sure. Um, okay. Step up. Yeah, if, if you want to go in that order, it doesn't matter to me, you know. Oh, that's cool. Sorry for like the flashing backlight that I've got going on. I'm sitting next to a window, so it's like cloudy and not cloudy. But yeah, I mean, th we have different features on our blog. We have the, the, we can do, you know, our photographs. We can do audio now. We can do our videos just just as quick. I mean, with our video links, I'll share with you guys what I what I've done. Um, I actually took. I'll screen share real quick. I've taken. 
SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a blast. You can download, you can upload. And I actually took this. I don't know if anybody recognizes who this person is over here in the corner, but well, you, you know, I mean, share your screen first. Oh, it's not <laughs> sharing. My bad. Oh, big red truck with a fire hose. That's crazy. I thought I'd already did it. Is that it now? Okay, happy, happy. Who's that? Can y'all see who it is? Yep. And that's Justin and D. So what I've done is I've actually taken some of his hangouts that he's actually taken and put on SoundCloud. We can actually host them now through our blog. And what I'll do is I will listen to his his hangouts that he has that he actually records on our Thursday night team training. And I will add it to my blog. And I'll put, you know, I've got pictures of Justin with me and Linda and, you know, a lot of our Prosperity team members. I haven't went to the last two events because we've had kiddos that needed more mom than the event needed us right now. And that's totally cool. But um, here is my blog. I'm going to my regular .com. I'm not going to go into my back office. But, for example, just so everybody in... I did this right before our hangout, and here you can see, bada bing. You know, so now I've got my blog broadcasting what we're doing exactly right now. If you look, this one was just uploaded not too long ago. I actually did another hangout with some other team members. So, I mean, here's my Justin coaching. So, I mean, we take all these things, and we, we can blog these so quickly. And the, the coolest part about it is, it's all for the same thing and we can put it in different areas we can tell you know we can choose who gets to see our blogs if it's just for our team members and our downline and our upline we can choose that you know who sees that and we can also choose if we want it to be public I like I don't like to keep a whole lot of things secret because I think you know information should be free so I keep a lot of my stuff public so I hope this has been a little bit but as far as my blogging goes I literally will take less than seven minutes. I have nine kids. I don't have time. Time is not my friend, you know, because, <laughs> I mean, as soon as the school is out and they're piling through the door, it's it's literally just crazy, crazy. And I love every one of my little regrets, but I tell you, some of them, that's the reason alcohol was created, really. No, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> it's called sedation in a bottle. No, nah, no, nah, my kids are awesome, actually. So yeah, that's that's how Linda and I do it, and we can SEO it to any anything that we want. Nine times out of ten, I'll always link it back to us because we, we're pretty much branded as tag team moms throughout Empower, and I mean, you Google tag team moms, just boom, we're front page, just top top in the middle. So you know, we've been rocking it pretty hard, and this isn't our first adventure. I mean, we've we've done a lot of other stuff to try to you know learn how to make money at home. And nothing actually worked as good or as quickly as this. I mean, we got ranked just, you know, a, less than a month out of the out of the gate, you know. And we're tech tards. I'm not even gonna lie. Obviously, I didn't even know if I screen share or not. Come on. But now we we can even take this mobile. So now I can just upload a video right off my phone. Go boom, bink, done. I don't have time to mess around. I got children. One of them likes to chase cars. You know, it's like having a dog in the house. You just yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so I want to see what Nestor's got because, yeah. Oh, don't laugh. Wait till you see my little nutballs. They're crazy. I'm just glad they're in school right now. Otherwise, this wouldn't even be happening. That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> oh, man, that's some cool stuff, man. Well, let me, let me take the, the thing right here. Uh, well, the only reason my daughter is, is right here right now is actually because she's a little not feeling good, so she didn't go to school. So that's why she's uh, right here with us and joining us in, the, in this this cool hangout. But uh, usually she'll be at school at least for three hours. We get you know we get three hours a day. And <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I, this just uh, it, it amazing what's going on with this blog. Like I like I was mentioning before, but uh, if in and the, the great thing is. <laughs> The great thing is about this blog is that uh, it works for any kind of business too. Uh, it could be personal or it could be you know business uh, based uh, as well. Uh, one of the reasons that I started going online actually was uh, back when I had a uh, my my restaurant and before I sold it, I, I always I always wanted to have something. Um, you know, I was I knew that something was missing. Uh, I've always had like different businesses, uh, traditional businesses, but for some reason they never took off and uh, and. 
the the one number one reason that I always that I kind of found out why was the marketing part, and so that's one of the reasons why I started kind of going uh, going online to learn how to market. But now uh, I found out that. You know, it, there's easier ways to do life. There's easier ways to be able to uh, make more money uh, simpler. And, and with this blogging system, now it's even simpler because we, before with the blog, uh, the WordPress, uh, even though it was it was uh, it was okay, it was simple compared to like you know you don't have to know HTML or nothing. But but still, it was a little complicated to the people that you know, uh, especially the people I was bringing in. You know, they 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 were more into the traditional business. Uh, so they weren't really technological or they didn't know anything about the thing. But now with this new blogging system, it's incredible. The, 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 with the ease that you can blog, uh, I mean, like I said, uh, you can just blog anywhere and be able to put out your message out there, especially like if you have like a, like any type of business. Uh, so, and the great thing, you know, the one thing I, I, I kind of like knew a little bit of what it was, but really didn't know exactly how it worked. Was that you have up to? I believe with the twenty-five dollar level, you have up to ten different blogs you can actually create. Uh, so uh, within within your your system, and and that I found it very powerful because being like with me, I, I I also you know I sold my restaurant, but I kept the catering part of that restaurant, and so I'm still catering. I'm still going out there, and and I really don't have a, a good website, and so now I'm actually starting to like. Use the, this blogging system, and now, now that I know that I actually you actually can actually make three like ten different blogs, separate separate blogs with this system, is uh, actually amazing to me because uh, with with the same uh, with the same system, and you don't it, it's not it's it's all covered in the same the same twenty five dollars a month, which is great. Sorry, my my daughter's a little bit not feeling that good, but let me let me share uh, how Cedric was talking about how we do like different types of blogs. Uh, share the screen really fast because I want to show you one of uh, uh, the, the blocks that I've been creating, and and um, I'm not really big into SEO at, at least not not right now. So uh, I, I don't take that much that long to create blocks because uh, it, it just is easy. Okay, you guys, can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. So here's uh, here's my my blog right here, but. Um, this morning, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was actually inspired by a, a, a Facebook post that I put I put on there, and I was like, "Hey, that's a, that would be a pretty cool uh, blog to, to write about." You know, like the the success the success you know, and is it is a result of past actions. So I did it a, a really quick. It took me probably like you know this one actually because it has more more uh, writing in here. Probably take me like ten minutes or something. But uh, this one actually this one's a pretty cool story. Uh, the Turbo Charger business. I was talking. I was chatting with this guy yesterday at night, and and yeah, we were kind of going back and forth. And he was kind of like you know trying to you know he was really pitchy when it came to his business. And I was trying I was trying to school him a little bit, but <laughs> so so, <I> was like, <laughs> so so like you know what man? It's like I was like um, you you can actually turbocharge your business. And he's like what? So when he said what, uh, like what do you mean turbocharge? I was like oh man, I gotta create some content really fast. So I, I went into my YouTube channel, grabbed my thing. I created this like probably like probably like three minutes. I just I wrote something really fast right here. Put the 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 video on there. Uh, put a link and I, I grabbed the, grabbed the URL and send it to him. <laughs> like in, like I, I did it in three minutes. So uh, it's 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 awesome. I mean that video of course I already had it, but I never put it on my blog post. So because that opportunity came, I was like, hey, you know what? That's a really good opportunity uh, for me to show it, especially if it's in my blog because you can see all the, the all the other uh, uh, the other links. So I created that. Um, this one is the one I was talking about. A quick video from Disneyland. I was actually in Disneyland uh, this Sunday, and so it's just like a what, like a minute and twenty-two second little video. When I was walking, we were walking in Disneyland, and I was like, "Hey, man, I, that, it would be pretty cool to show the power of the blog." So I did this uh, minute and a half little video from Disneyland. And I put it on my on my uh, uh, I, I I uploaded, and then just put a little couple of writing there, and then that's it. And again, uh, it took longer to. To upload the video that it did uh, to actually do the blog post. So as you can see, uh, <laughs> when it comes to speed, speed blogging, uh, I'm loving this because uh, with the WordPress it was pretty fast, but this one's like super quick, uh, and you can use it for so many different things. You know, the, I'm I'm loving this little turbo charge uh, uh, blog post that I did in like three minutes for that guy. <laughs> so let me go back to uh, 
let me take off my screen share. But uh, it's uh, pretty pretty powerful stuff right here, guys. <clears throat> let me see how do you do this thing. Okay. Okay, cool, man. So as you can see, it, it is versatile. You can actually use it for C, uh, uh, SEO if you want to, and you can you know build it really really nice. Or you can just use it like you know as a fast way to 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 take your message out there. Uh, and you know blogging is blogging, and it's it's really a way to be able to put your message to the to to the masses, and that's what you want to do. That's the way I use the blogging platform right now, and you know I'm loving it. <laughs> Back to you guys. All right, Ralph. Let's see it's what you got. It's my turn, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, the big thing for me as a blogger is like I like to write about things I enjoy. You know, if you something I enjoy, you know about it. You know, and you can write type fast about it. If you like, like you said, Rick, you're in the cars, right? Right. You probably can write about the cars like in two minutes a whole page, <laughs> right? So, yeah. Pretty much. I enjoy I enjoy watching movies and that's as, like as an example uh, watching movies and I when I always watch I try to like learn something right and eventually I write it down on Facebook like what I learned from that stuff right and then that Facebook post I would take and basically just copy into my blog and I would just share my screen quickly okay how do I do it Can you see it now? Yeah. You see my screen? Okay. So I did this. I like two days ago. I I watched this movie Pacific Rim, right? And I just took a took a lesson from it. And basically, what I did, I brought up Facebook post, and this took me like three minutes, not more. No more than three minutes, nice. and I would take the same stuff basically, and copy into my to my uh, Empower blog. And while I'm telling the story, I would like pull people in. I'm telling the story like, what would you do if if the aliens would come to the world, right? And would you be able to pay your pay your way out? You know. And if you if you wouldn't, like, wh what would you do? You know, your family would like go away. Everything would like vanish. So this is the option for you to to create that that payout. You know, so I would take just something what I really enjoy and wrap it around with call to action and put it into my blog. And that would take like super like maybe three or four minutes maximum. And like I'm telling you, if you enjoy something, if you en enjoy some new training, people enjoy it, or something, you know, just while it's fresh, you can type it like super fast, and uh, while you're inspired, I mean, that that's how I I I do this like really fast. It takes me no more than five minutes to create this kind of blog with three or two or three hundred hundred words, and also the big thing. Uh, for me, was when I discovered about uh, just having these spaces, you know, between uh, between the paragraphs. Just having the spaces, it would it would look like you have more, right? But actually, you wouldn't have more. And the thing is, what what I found out about it increased my uh, visitors on page, uh, like. From from ten seconds to three minutes. Now average visitor on my page is for three minutes because of that little stuff I implemented on my blog. So that's kind of super charge my my blog up. Really, really good. That's great. I think the hardest thing though, honestly, isn't so much of you know content. It's not even a problem finding content. You can find content anywhere. But exactly. the hardest part is getting that plan of okay, 
I want to tell people about this. This is what I want to make sure I convey in this message. This is what my ultimate outcome, this is what I perceive that I want to happen with this. So whenever Linda and I, we, we she and I, we constantly bounce stuff off each other. That's why we work so well together is because she's more of an analytical person. I'm more one of those kind of people just boom in your face. Whatever flies out of my mouth is what comes out of my fingers. You know what I'm saying? So you can always tell with our writing styles who's written what. Linda's really more analytical and she will take, you know, hours to blog about certain things where me I mean I literally just threw together like four blogs today I don't even care I just brrr, done you know so it just kind of works out crazy like that but I mean you know even if it's your, you know if you're passionate about knitting crocheting recipes working on a vehicle how many daughters don't have fathers in the world to teach them how to change their oil you know, wouldn't exactly. it be cool if we took the opportunity, because now we have the ability to use our mobile phones. I mean, how hard would it be to show somebody how to do automotive repair via just your phone? And you could blog about it. Bada bing, instant content. You know, or what to go look for whenever you're looking for a new car or a used car or something like that. You know, just things like that. I mean, me, I, I work on cars. I crochet. I cook like crazy because I'm a little fat kid, and there's no such thing as a skinny <laughs> chef. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, I'm country plump, y'all. Y'all, I'm from North. I'm originally from Oklahoma. So, I mean, we got all kinds of southern cooking, you know, everything from fried green tomatoes to, you know, if you can't put bacon grease on it, don't eat it. You know, it's not the healthiest what? lifestyle. <laughs> what? Shut the door. You don't even know. And sweet tea, you cannot live without your sweet tea. That right there is blasphemy, oh, you know. Goodness. And we take everything slow around here, but at the same time, you know, I take my, my business very serious, and I've reached out to uh, several people. There's a gentleman I'm working with right now. We're not in the same niche marketing, but we are both Internet marketers. He is more the door-to-door -door type of guy. Well, this kind of takes the door-to-door -door guy and brings him back home because obviously there's only so many houses and so many doors you can knock before people are just, you know, your foot's flat from having it slammed in every door. And what is that, the MLM Witness Protection Agency, because your friends and your family don't ever want to talk to you again? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like you got to chase down, you know, Uncle Bob and Harry and Tim. And, you know, but this fella, he, he'd gotten put into the, he got shown into the business, the type of business through a relative who burned him. I mean, person burned him so bad. I'm going to leave names out completely. And that totally made me mad because then I went from being, you know, totally happy about his product to really wanting to just go over and give a, you know, an anal retention problem to this person for being a jerk to him, you know, because damn, you don't treat family like that. So I, I took him under my wing and I actually contacted him through an ad that he had because I was kind of curious to see what he had going on. And so I contacted him and I reached out and he's like, man, I need to get my business going. I got this dumped in my lap and I'm not going to quit. And I was like, okay, this is what I want you to do. I'm going to teach you a few key things to get you on the way going. You know, so I, I'm taking him under my wing, basically, and he's constantly on Facebook with me. We're constantly, you know, chatting back and forth on the phone. I've actually used my blog to talk about his product. Not not for me to have any gain. I mean, it's just one more piece of content in my blog. It's going to get ranked somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for me to do that, that's giving him the exposure that he needs. So whenever we stop and we look at all the potentials of our blog, you know, since we can have so many different different things going on, we can be in 72 different niches if we want to be. I don't care if you're selling vitamins or if you're selling, you know, crochet hooks, whatever. You, you can make a different blog for each one and have your own domain for that and speed blog on all of them and have them all interconnect and then you're instant backlinking. You know, there's all kinds of ideas there. I've just been clicking, the, you know, and I'm a tech tard, so I've still got to figure out how I'm going to make all this happen. But, hey, you know, it starts with a dream, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, there you go. You guys are dropping some, some definitely uh, some, some gold nuggets, some gold bars, because I'm more like Linda is. I My mind is very analytical, so... Like, if you looked at my blog post, and you're like, that's ridiculous. Like, literally, like, a short blog post for me is 500 words. <laughs> that's, that's oh, what, son, don't, don't, no, I mean? no, 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 no. You're out of school, baby. You ain't got to write me an essay. Okay, essays, <laughs> okay, 
Okay, essays, think of them like skirts, okay? I'm going to put this in guy form since I'm here with all the dudes, okay? Essays and blogs are like mini skirts. If they're too long, they're just no fun at all. If they're too short, it takes all the interest out of it. they got to be just right, you know what I'm saying? And if yeah. you're SEOing, that's all good too, you know? It gives it a little bit more, you know, then you got her name and her number, not just the size of her skirt. You know what I'm saying? So think about whenever you're blogging. See, brother over here, Nestor is just dying because, you know what I'm saying? When you stop and think about it whenever you're blogging like that, you want to keep decent content. You want to have it, you know, keep, keep leading them into it, you know, Nothing looks better on a mini skirt than a pair of long legs, right, guys? Right. Okay, so make make sure you know you don't want the legs too long because then it's just not even worth the climb, you know. Yeah. It's not even worth trying. So you got to keep them short, keep them a little bit short, but keep it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly uh, why I changed up my style. Like, cause a, a lot of my blog posts are like, I've got, I literally, believe it or not, I think I have one blog post that's like eighteen hundred words. Like it's it's long, but it was on. And then uh, Jesus wept, right? <laughs> no, you know what's funny? It was on leasing a car because there's so much information in there. Like it, it I I, could, I tried to shorten it, I just couldn't. That's you know? that's whenever you repurpose your, you know, if you do like a video or something like that. If you do yeah. a video in your blog, take yeah. the take a chance to repurpose that video. You could do some slice and dice on it and lead them into the next blog. Because see, yeah. Linda and I, we have several blogs that actually I can't even remember what it was, but I was I was doing a, a thing about tarot cards. So I did a small series. So it's okay to do like series and have them link back to each other. Right. So that way you're creating your own backlinks as well. You know, and then you can keep those blogs even shorter. You know what I'm saying? Think mini skirt, buddy. Think mini skirt. You don't want to go, man, if it's to her ankles, is it really worth it? <laughs> yeah, so I've gotten out of that habit. I've been uh, blogging a lot faster, a lot faster. You know, just I'll, I'll show you guys some of my, my recent work from where I used to be, you know. So you you know the story of where I used to be. Here's, here's more recent stuff. Let's share this again before we start. So, all right. Let's just go. Yeah. How you like the the URL? Think beastly. Copyright. Get off me. <laughs> Let's see. So this one's, you know, this is much shorter, you know, like, here's one that, that I That looks yesterday. really good. You know, it's just real short. It's It's got, like, it's probably, like, 200 words, maybe less, you know, really quick. And then I spent just as much time writing a call to action, you know, as I did the blog post. And that's what I've been focused on lately, just spend more time writing a call to action, getting people to take action. And here's another short one, too. I just read per... I uh, have you guys used the reblog feature yet? Yeah, I actually have. I've taken it straight off of Dave and Dave. But did yeah. you know? You remember in our old blogging system how we went over on WordPress? You could take and go from um, one blog to the other, and you have your call to action throughout, and you put in your picture and stuff like that. Did you know if you open up two tabs? Wow, I got some feedback. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's doing it. I hate my computer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think it's just God. Can, can somebody meet me out because my computer is kind of slow. Um, I don't know if we can mute you out. I think you, you got to find Actually, yeah, button. I can do it. I can oh, do okay. it. There, we go. there, I got him. But anyway, what, what you do, where in the heck was I? My train derailed. Oh, what you do is you open up two tabs between your blogs. So if you go back in one of your older blogs and you have like a picture and a call to action, what you do is you could take your picture from that blog and literally drag and drop to your other blog. Did you know you could do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do that all the time. No, yeah, I meant, like, so this is for people that are also watching that are new to this and thinking, yeah. what? Yeah, so it's totally possible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you just take – yeah, I have uh, a lot of pictures that I have set up that I'll just keep inserting as, you know, a standard uh, call to action. But I'm just trying to raise my, like – because – the reason why I bring it up is uh, Chris Rucker brought up something that was really interesting in the 15K is like, you know, how in just five minutes what David Wood shared, he shared, you know, some some really, you know, uh, 
killer strategies on the art of, you know, creating a, a call to action. And it, it only took him like two minutes, but it really, you know, it stuck home with me that like if you if you write in a particular way your call to actions, you can tell the person throughout the entire post leading up to the bottom to take action. And that's just that's what I meant by focusing on it that way. I'd been using the other strategy before, just taking the actual picture and just always putting it in. But I wanted to kind of like, you know, plant a seed here, then plant a seed here, and then plant a seed here, and then bring it home here. You know what I mean? So that's all I was saying. Yeah, continuity and congruity, it, it, that goes along with that whole, you know, keep the mini skirt theory. You know, you got to have it long enough to where you can spread it out, yeah. you know, throughout your blog, but still carry that content throughout. And see, a lot of times, too, is don't forget whenever we're doing our videos that we need to put a link to not only our blog where the video is going, but put a link back to your video in your video description because that right there will help you get more rank as well. In yeah. case that's something nobody's heard of yet. That's a good tip. You always take the actual URL bar link and put it in the description. Yeah. Another thing too, I think too, that we have to remember is the continuity the continuity of our of our blogs, since these are mobile active, we need to stop and take into consideration on different kinds of browsers. And if you guys have your Google Analytics hooked up, you'll be able to see, you know, exactly what the screen size is to you know who is being able to view your blogs via mobile because I mean in your back office you, you can sh you can see on your Google Analytics exactly what platform they're using if it's an right. Android if it's an OIS or what have you you know so you got to take into you know to thoughts like that as to f how big you want to have your uh, screen you know whenever you share your whenever you share videos and stuff because you got some of the smaller screens and you've got your big ones that good god I don't know why they make them like that it's retarded but you know that's their deal but well, I think that's the great thing about having it on your empower blog is it automatically decides the the format it's going to display it you know we don't have to think about anything on our end for the people that are watching us you know that aren't in empower uh, power network yet Holly is absolutely right because you know what it's like to try to set that up. They have to set up about what is it, five different plugins. You got to have a plugin for iPhones, a plugin for Androids, uh, a plugin for you know watching it live. Your it's live always... support. You got to plug in your daggone <laughs> yeah. live support. You know, so there's a lot of different things that people have to do on uh, traditional uh, blogs if they're using WordPress and if they're using like TypePad or blogger. I have a, a blog blogger.com blog and it's I'm not going to say anything negative about it. I just I don't blog on it. That's all I'll say about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can use those you can use those outside blogs. You know, I mean, take the content that you have on your on your Empower blog. You could put it in that blog as well. You could put it you know, if you already got a WordPress blog, integrate that sucker. You can call it, you can get your own flipping.com. You can open up a whole new, you know, I I was just talking to a uh, friggin' what What's his name? I can't. Wayne. Clint. No, Clint. Clinton. Clint. Yes. Just yeah. talking to Clint. You know, he was. He's got a whole other niche that he's working. He's going to integrate that into the blogging as well. And the cool thing is, is you know, you could subdomain as much as you want on your right. on your own domain that you got. I mean, if anybody doesn't know anything about domains, I mean, shoot, you can pick them up all day long for like ninety nine cents. But if you want something that's already got a lot of rank going to it, you're going to have to do a little bit of research on it. And sure, it might cost you a little bit more money, but in the long run, it all, it'll automatically already have a little bit of rank going for it. And, of course, in Power Network, I mean, good God, their rank is just insanely awesome. I think it's like 88 the last time I checked it out in the U.S. So, you know, we've got a powerful platform. And the best part, guys, is it's all the flat price, and we don't have to do all this techie crap. We exactly. Just this exactly. Just what you're talking about with the Empower Network rank has gone up 200. All right, it didn't go up. It came down, because you always think of down. It came down 200 spots, because it was at 288. Now it's at 88. And it was at 288 in, what was it, February? I think it was like February. Now it's at 88. So by this time next year, it'll probably be at 8. We <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> just kill it in something stupid. Are you, I think you're muted out. Maybe you want to be muted out. We can't hear you, Holly. No, actually, I was oh. just going into Alexa right now, going, "Holy duty!" 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or as my kids say, Pope Poop, because they can't say holy crap because I'll get onto them. So they say Pope Poop. But yeah, I mean, there's just it's a, it's amazing. And see, with us, with us, you know, before we we all branched off and was able to get our own dot coms, we were all subsidiaries under Empower. Right. We had our subdomains under Empower. And, I mean, you could still choose to do that. You don't have to get your own .com. You could be like, for us, it would be like tagteammoms.empowernetwork.com. You could still have that. But, you know, in order to brand yourself, if you want to break away, if you got other stuff that you're doing, because Linda and I, I mean, we're looking at other ventures too. But, you know, we're, we're, we're all about kids. That's our thing. I mean, obviously, it's not – we're two single moms. We just got together. We've got our kiddos together, and we have no men in our lives because – we chose to take that path in our life because it was safer for us and the kids. So, you know, we can reach out to moms that are going through the same kind of stuff that we're going through, and we can teach them what we've learned about, you know, the different programs, the different systems, and eventually getting them to be financially free, you know, if they so choose to take that avenue. We're not here about giving a hand out. We're here about giving hands up. And that's what I think the the core, the whole core of Empower was based on. They're not just giving it to you. They're 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 handing you an opportunity. And I, I know just about every team that you get on, you have the opportunity to have training out the wazoo. There's there's hangouts. There's you know team calls. I mean, good night. If if it's if it's not even the product that a person wants, I mean, shoot, man, you guys are cooler than hanging out with half the people that I know because they're just lame and they're stuck in honey boo boo land or whatever in the crap reality shows on. I like this reality show because it's our reality and what we manifest today will be manifested in hand tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the kind of people that we deal with. We are just awesome people up in here. That's it. That's it. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. That's why I love having Holly around because she just she takes things and she instead of lighting them on fire, she just blows them up. <laughs> All right. Blows them up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's why I was in demolition in the military, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you a beast. <laughs> Anybody have anything I'm else? Loving to add? Man. I'm loving it. <laughs> so I, this I have is, an honest. This is just a, such a powerful man. It's powerful, powerful. An honest question, you know, oh, like wait, how, what? What's his name? Ralph's? Yeah. Yeah. What? What is your ultimate goal? What? Where will you be to be satisfied with your life? What is your? What is your most most wanted thing that you will have by this time next year? Mm, I, as I'm like very young at the moment, I am like into the things, you know. I want things. So you I'll gotta get specific. I I know <laughs> exactly. Uh, by next year, this time, I will be in the Thailand. I will be living in Thailand, and with my with my friend, uh, we'll be going there. We will live there, and we will have a business. And I also want. To, to do this so my mom can quit her job. So the, in the first place would be family, support my family, and the second would be travel the world and have a business. That's awesome. That's kind of my thing, yeah. Awesome. What about you, Nestor? What's your, what's your method? Well, right now, my uh, I, I usually do my... My goal is in 90 days, so every 90 days. So December 31st is going to be where I'm going to be hitting 90th day goal. And uh, right now it's just basically to get a 7,500 residual income uh, monthly. And I should uh, my when it comes to the team is I want to grow my team to 100 uh, team members under me and help them start generating you know at least thousand dollars into their into their uh, in, uh, monthly income. So that's that's where I'm at right now. So in December 31st, that's what what my goal is is to hit that that uh, at least for me that seven thousand plus whatever you know the, the the other incomes that are gonna come out from selling the upgrading products. But uh, at least for residual, I kind of concentrate more on residual than the other products. So how, how about you, Hal? Me, Linda, and I we are. We've we've got five kids still at home. We've got four that are out in the world, and I'm gonna be a grandma that of twins. 
my daughter just found out not too yeah. long ago that, yeah, I'm just really thrilled not. But it's all good. I'm too young to be a grandma. I'm not even 40 yet, but that's all right. Yeah, I'm, I look good. But Linda and I actually, I'm going to take a moment to show you guys something because this is our dream, and we want to have this 100% completed within a year and a half. And this, this is how hardcore we are. And I mean, when I say hardcore, brothers, I mean hardcore. We have a dream board. And I'm going to turn you guys around and let y'all see. This is our dream board. And we have all kinds of goodies on there. Everything from the truck that we want. We want to have two snowmobiles. We're looking to change the world. We want to help people. We want to buy our kids brand new cars. We want Our major goal is to help families at Christmas. Because there's a lot of people that don't even realize how many people are so jacked up. I mean, there's a hunger problem that happens in America. You know, around Thanksgiving times, you'll see all these places that are offering food baskets and stuff. There wouldn't be a need for those food baskets if there wasn't a need for people that need to have food, you know. Right. So every year, um, Linda and I, we will gather our kids up and we'll take them to like, you know, a local dollar store or something like that so we can get something more value, you know, more for our money. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we'll let the kids pick out something for a kid that's in need before they ever tell us what they want for Christmas. That is number one, number one first and foremost, you know. And I mean, I've got several videos, excuse me, on YouTube to um, a lot of kids that we've actually helped out. I mean, one kiddo that we've helped out, we call him one of our kids. He calls me dad. He calls Linda mom because it's just easier to differentiate us. But we literally talked to him from committing suicide you know we stopped him from making stupid decisions and he's 19 he's a new dad his kids two years old so he was thrown into a, an adult role really early in life with no real parent guidance so our ultimate goal I think is we're just gonna run a house of wayward children I mean cuz that's what we've always been about is our kids and every time it's like I don't care where we are where we move to where we land it's like a child that needs us always finds us we give them a roof, we put you know, food in their belly, we talk to their parents and try to get them communicating again, and then we send them on our way. We've probably passed through our home probably 15, 16 kids you know, over the course, over the last seven years, just kids that needed someone. So for us, I mean, we're all about our kids, but it's even more than that because at the end of the day, whenever we're old and gray, we're going to, we, we've already planned that we're going to be in Tahiti, you know, getting, getting our backs rubbed by some really hot looking guy. We're going to be old and wrinkly. Uh -huh. Before we do that though, we're going to try to help as many kids as we can. And we've changed a lot of lives just in our local area with some of the, you know, just the local community, you know, uh, help places from, you know, Ronald McDonald House to there's a couple of charitable places around that, you know, they need resources, so we turn them into the right direction. Habitat for Humanity, um, there's people that need homes that that have, you know, issues with their house. They don't know of these resources that actually Habitat for Humanity will make a donation to them to help them refortify their homes, to make them safer for their families. A lot of people don't understand this. So as a as the big picture you know we're doing a lot of little things and we're not doing it to get a name for ourselves at all most people don't even know we do anything online and that's the way we like it anonymity works better because for us which whatever karma you send out comes back tenfold and that's what it's all about that's that's why we found empower and we love it you know and this would have never started had Linda not messed up her knee working a job so really? we're grateful for it yay that's awesome Awesome. So um, awesome. It's awesome. So I guess this is the part where I talk about myself, huh? <laughs> Spill your guts. <laughs> uh, I see myself a year from now um, driving a particular car. And you know what? I want to start the statement with it, is this is the car I want to drive. And it's okay for me to have that goal because I've sacrificed a lot. It's not a shallow thing. I've sacrificed a lot. The car I want is, the car we'll have a year from now is a GS350 F Sport Lexus, white with cabinet interior, lowered or black rims. I know it to the exact of what I want, okay? Do you got ground effects on it? It doesn't need ground effects. It already comes with it from the factory. <laughs> it's a sport edition. There you go, baby. You know, okay. So I know exactly what I want to be driving because 
here's the thing. I sacrificed a lot. I moved out of the apartment I was living in to move in with my mother, which at age 34, that is never a good look. But I understand one thing, is that if I can lower my monthly expenditures, I can invest more money into my business. And that's the reason why I did it, because I have to sacrifice. I sold my car. I sold my car so that I can pay for the 15K because I needed that that marketing training. You know, anyone can get online and just start putting up links everywhere, but that's not going to lead you to the successful path. It's good to take the massive action, and I encourage it, but you need to do something more than just that. So I invest... I. Me and Nestor talked about this. You got to do whatever it takes to get all in. And for me, that's what it took. That's what it takes for me to. That's part of me getting all in is to sell my car, walk to work every single day. I quit a job I was working at in another city, making more money, more guaranteed money, to come work at a job where I would have to walk to, and I'm back on commission. But that's just the plan of action I saw. That if I want to get to where I want to be, this is the route I got to go. So you got to set a goal, you got to know your outcome, what you want it to be, and you got to take massive action towards that every single day. Just like Holly's talking about, I'm going to show you guys some of my goals. Now, I keep it on my phone at all times because I want to be able to look at it at any, you know, given moment. So let's see if you kind of see. Okay, so you can. You can kind of see, like. Oh, yeah. You know, so I, I can always keep it. Just everything that I want. You know, let me go back to that. Why do I have a picture of Jordans? Because Just do you, it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But the reason why I have a picture of Who doesn't of have a Jordan's shoes in their phone, man? <laughs> <laughs> because as a kid, I never could afford them. You know, I, I have one pair now, but I've always wanted a lot of pair of those. So that's one of my motivating factors of what, you know, drives me. I want to show you guys uh, the house that... Let's see here. This should motivate everybody right here. My screen's frozen, so I don't know if you guys can even see it. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. We can yeah, see, see it. it. We can smell it. It was so close, right? <laughs> yeah, like, ah, yeah, there you go. Come on. <laughs> now, this is a house in Venice Beach. That's where I want to live. I also want to – that's the interior of it. You guys, you got to keep this stuff in front of you. You got to know what you want. You know, it's got to be crystal clear in your mind, or it's gonna, you're going to have a really tough time getting there. And I look at this stuff every single day, you know. Um, let me show you the other. Let's see here. It's the other one. Apes. <laughs> I can. Sorry about that. I was just telling Clint yays because he got his website mapping all figured out with that cool video I sent him. So, yeah, I was just messaging Clint back. Oh, that is cherry. Now, that's in Big Bear, California. I want to live in that house up in the mountains. So, yeah. I mean, I got some big, 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 big goals. So, what I want is. I want to be able to help a lot of people out there because I personally firsthand know what it's like to talk to your managers, have them, you know, just disrespect you, chew you out, not treat you like a person because they don't have to. You know, they they don't. You're you're the employee. You know, they're over you. So I know what it feels like to to feel like you don't have an opportunity or you don't have a chance, you don't have a way out. You have to deal with this. And guess what? This is your life. I refuse to spend the next 20 to 30 years of my life like that. I, I won't do it. I will not do it. And you know what? When I see people that are homeless, I get it because they, they're, they're not willing to do that. They would rather live on the streets and, and, and deal with that life. But you know what? That doesn't have to be the outcome for, for you. You can choose to do whatever it is you want to do, but what are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up speak, uh, sleep? Are you willing to give up what your friends are going to think? I have struggled with that for a long time doing internet marketing because you got to put your face out there and tell your story. You know, how many people really want to tell this story, like, you know, what they're going through to get to where they want to be? Not many. Not most people want to let that out the gate. But this is, this is what's going to help other people. I know if I share this story, other people will relate and make a breakthrough in their own life to say, you know what? 
I, I have dreams, I have goals, and I want to get there too. So what do I have to do to get there? So this is, this is why we do what we do. We do this to empower other people, to get other people out of their comfort zone, start moving forward, because you can do this. This is not hard. None of us, I, I think I'm a smart person, but I don't think I'm the most tech savvy person. A lot of people will tell you that I am, but I'm really not. I mean, you see how we fight to, you know, <laughs> share the screen? <laughs> we, we mess things up like that all the time. I mean, if you're, if you're watching this live on my Facebook page, you probably came here like 15 minutes ago, and you see it now, but if you came back earlier, it was all down because I didn't get it right. And this is just a learning curve. We, we learn these things as we go through. So what we do is we do this online. We get to events. You know, I never met Nestor before. I'd seen him on Facebook before, but I never met him. And when I met him at the, the event in Anaheim, me and him were like best friends, man. We went everywhere together. <laughs> <laughs> we hung out like the whole weekend. Right? He's like one of my closest friends. It's true, friends, man. It's awesome. Know? It's, it's it. so awesome. And he lives literally, what is it, like 15 minutes from my house? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know, there's man. a romance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like <laughs> down the street here, man. <laughs> Basically, you know, so you never know in this industry who you're going to meet, who you're going to hook up with, you know, because we all have the same passion. We want to we wanna see our family succeed by us succeeding. You know, you want to be able to give your kids a better life. And that's a huge why. I don't have any kids yet, but I still want to give my kids a better life, so that's why I'm doing the things I'm doing because when I do have kids, I don't want to have to tell them that, you know what, um, I can't afford that, so you have to go without that. That's, that's, I don't think any parent wants to tell their child that. Now, you want to set boundaries, I'm sure. You, know, you don't want to give them everything because that's just going to spoil them, but at the same time, the things you know that they deserve and that you want to give them, you want to have that ability to give them. And that could be something as simple as what Nestor's doing right now, spending time with his daughter. You know, most people are locked up in a cubicle right now. They don't have the luxury to have their daughter in their lap and, and talk to her. They may get home and she may be in bed and, and they get to see her the whole day until Saturday. You know what I mean? So that's why we do what it is we do. You just nailed it, man. That's yeah. right, I, I, you know what? I take a lot of notes from from Justin Varengia, and I watch him speak from his heart. And I, I do this. I do my best to do the same. Is just speak from my heart, you know, and quit, quit hiding behind a mask. My whole life has been like this, behind a mask. And you know, I got an Empower Network, and slowly but surely, just pieces of that mask is starting to come off and just really be who I really want to be, you know. That's true, man. Yeah, you know what it I just think is the yeah. So, the sorry, part, I was going to say the coolest part is watching you guys bear your souls because at the end of the day, you know, whenever we shut down our computers, we almost feel like we're alone. But at the same time, we know that in just a few clicks, any one of us could find anybody somewhere that's in the same business as us. If we're having an issue with trying to screen share or you know putting out videos we'll always find somebody to motivate inspire reach reach out and and talk to even the leaders that's the that's the amazing part because if you guys check out my Facebook you'll see who my friends in common are I'm talking I got Justin I've got D I've got Rob Four, I've got Mike Hobbs you know I've got all these people that are you know in my up you know up from me and I'm actually under John Moroz and I have him as a friend too. You know, sometimes he's not as reachable because that, that guy, he needs butt glue. He travels so much. But, you know, it's, that's what his, you know, lifestyle demands of him. That's what he wants to do. So he shouldn't have to be tied to, you know, rubbing my butt and teaching me how to do it. That's the cool part because there's enough of us mentors that have come together not only to help each other, but we've watched, you know, maybe something that somebody else has done, and we have learned so we can share it to the next guy. So it's not even it, – it's systematized because systems duplicate. Humans do not. Right. So that's why they've done what they've done for us, and it makes it so much easier. And I can cook dinner whenever I feel like it, you know? <laughs> you know, it's like uh, the last event, me and uh, Nestor, we were talking, and we're like, we were walking back to his car to get, uh, like, the camera or something, and we had, like, a, a, a discussion. We're like, hey, you know what? 
we really got to focus this weekend on meeting other people because that's one strength that we don't have in our tool belt and we want to increase that. So we said let's focus on meeting other people and getting in these circles. You know, stop treating people like they're, you know, like a, you know, untouchable star and just treat them like a human being, like like they want to be treated. That, that's how, that's really how the leaders want to be treated. And see, I mean, they, they enjoy being put up on a, a, a platform and a pedestal, but at the end of the day, they just want to, you know, they're just human just like us. So we focused on that, and lo and behold, that same night, me and Nestor ended up having dinner with, like, Adam Whiting, Troy Shanks, I mean, all the, you know, the, the biggest people in power, I mean, just because... Adam is a nut. I love him to death. Me and him was dancing in Chicago. We had too much fun. And then who else was it? There was... When in Austin, it was Adam and Megan, his wife, uh -huh. or girlfriend, or whatever. Me and him, Justin and Linda, and there was somebody else. I can't remember who it was. How, however it happened, we all ended up in this this like elevator together, and we just it was just a crazy incident. And Linda's looking at me. She's like, "Holly, who's that?" And then we, being in Austin. Everybody's like, look, it's Tag Team Moms. And I'm looking at Linda, and she's looking at me because we've touched so many people. Yeah. They're like, oh, my God, it's them. And I'm looking at Linda going, holy crap. <laughs> I feel like a little bitty fish on a big hook right now. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah, man, there's people that are recognizing us, that know us, that have learned some stuff from us. And they're wanting pictures with us. And Linda's like, dude. And I'm like, dude. So by the time we got to Chicago, we was up on the – we was in the Crown Hotel top floor, and, I mean, we was sitting back posh, you know what I'm saying? And we ended up, since we're all in, we got to go to all the extras that, you know, we had the after party and stuff like that. I actually caught a killer video with Dave Wood and Dave Sharp right there as they're fixing to jump in their limo and stuff. And Samantha Studebaker Carl, she she's like this wallflower. You know, she likes to observe from afar. And so I grab her up, and I take her over, and she meets Simon Stepsis, and she's meeting all these people. And she's like, my God, Holly, you're just a social butterfly. I was like, dude, he puts his pants on the same as I. I do just because I don't you know I don't stand up in the bathroom to go I'm sure he he has to sit at some point so we're equal <laughs> you know and Simon I mean this sucker I don't know if you all have seen his Facebook uh, freaking thing that he's got you know is what is that called a header or whatever yeah. but I mean good God that car he like paid cash money for it's freaking yeah. sweet you know and he's like hey can I buy you a pint and I'm like dude if you're buying I'm drinking you know what I'm saying so <laughs> you know it's all good and that's what the kind of people that you'll deal with. And then he he drops you know nuggets like crazy. Oh, and I'm yeah. sitting there. I just I would just want to be able to stenographer you know just get out and type it out. But I can't you know because we're at these social events. But you know that's what that's what's so powerful about these events because dude you and Nestor would have never met each other. And then no. I don't you know if you hadn't reached out to Linda for that video you and I and Linda would have never exactly. met. Exactly. Linda's you know, the so one that gave me the major video breakthrough. You know like. I can. I don't know if you uh, seen the the uh, was it called the uh, the rebuttal video, the vertical video. How don't do vertical videos. The little video that they like the one at the uh, event. Don't do. He is. My first video was a <laughs> vertical video. <laughs> but it was it was it was it was inspired though because like you know I wasn't gonna shoot a video. I had no intentions on it. But I saw Linda's video, and she basically gave me the breakthrough that I needed. She's like, you know what, I don't like shooting videos, but I'm going to do it because it's uncomfortable and I'm just going to get used to it. And saying that, I don't know why, it just made a, a, a breakthrough for me, like click, you know. Let me tell you about Linda's little dirty skeleton secret, okay. I Right here I have in my hand our little Sony Handycam, right. right. It's a badass little piece of machinery. It's awesome little technology. That woman... I've got so many blooper videos. I'm going to have to put a YouTube together of just our bloopers because she's sitting there saying, don't turn that on me. Stop it. I'd be like, Linda, you, you're just going to have to do this or I'm just – screw it. I push start. She's like, you're going to crop that. Right? No. <laughs> she's like, holy. I'm like, what? Man, she will just – she'll pop me once. She's like, you're going to edit that. I'm, no, I ain't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you'll see us. There's sometimes you'll see us in our videos to where it looks like we're about to have a throwdown. I think the one that's got the most views is um, 
what are we thankful for? Our random thankfuls. Because me and her, that that is true Holly and Linda right there. If you ever want to see what we're like, you know, face to face, I'm, I'm always popping off some smart ass something because I'm just a professional smart ass. And she is just, her inner Virgo makes her so prim and proper, and I'm a Leo. So it's like we automatically get along anyway because our birthdays are like right next to each other. And it's so funny because me and her, we constantly fight, fuss, and argue, but it's never in harm and it's never in meanness. You know what I'm saying? It's always in good fun. And at the end of the day, you'd not believe how many people that just our personalities resonate with. Her having the mellowness and me being so just blah in your face. <laughs> that's why she hangs out with me is because I'm the one that's the outgoing person. She's real quiet. But yeah, she's gonna be coming. She's gonna come home and see this because she's sitting over at her sister's house. When she comes home and sees this, man, she's gonna reach out and slap me again. It'd be all right though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well and prepared. I got my pillow. <laughs> now, I wanted to ask you a question, Ralph. Uh, have you been to an event yet? Uh, no, I, I haven't been to any Empower Network events yet. Okay. Actually, no. You live I... really far. Like we're. Yeah, you well, your country. I don't know where that is, though. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no. Like nobody knows. It's like in hell. Uh, uh, actually, I'm from Latvia, but at the moment I live in Ireland, so it's okay. still pretty pretty oh. far. But Dude, I have an idea. We can go to GoFundMe.com and we could start you an account there. You could tell people that you're trying to raise money to get to Miami. That's what I'm talking about. Have you guys heard about GoFundMe.com? Yeah, no, yeah. I haven't. I have. Ah, see, that's what we need to do. We got to help a brother out, right? So anybody watching this, I'm going to put something out. Y'all better go fund him and let him get to Miami. We need him in Miami because exactly. I want to hug his little half bald head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning. I, I look myself in the mirror and I say, my head isn't big. My head isn't big. <laughs> Your ears make it proportionate. You're good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I will do whatever it takes to get to Miami. Perfect. We That's about it. That's about it. I remember last year, actually, I quit my job to get to, to another business event. So they wouldn't allow me to go. So I had to just leave it. And it was right before the Christmas. And wow. I just screw it. I go to events. Yeah. Where was it? Sorry? Where was the event? Uh, it was here in Ireland. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So, cool. But still, even if, even if it was here, they wouldn't allow me to go, so I okay. have to well, throw we, finger. We are getting a little long-winded, um, but it is entertaining. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and share our strategies on what you guys do to uh, make custom pictures for, for your blogs or, or what you do for uh, your pictures. We'll just start with you, Ralph. Okay. So I'm doing basically I'm using for my pictures I'm using Photoshop. Like okay. uh, I I started it I don't know like a couple of months ago when I learned it from watching YouTube videos. So it took maybe a half a day to learn some things, some basic things and I was ready to go. So what I would do with my with my Can blog you share post. your screen and then just like show us some of the stuff you've done on Photoshop? Uh, yeah, no problem. Perfect. Okay, so... Oh, that's a pain. What I would do, I would basically take a blog, right, and put it on the Photoshop. I do a little editing, right? And... I, I wouldn't put the whole whole article over there, but just something to grab attention. Okay. And then I would add something like this button, right? Click here to read more. And I would upload this one on Pinterest. You know? Okay. And, and on Pinterest, if someone clicks on the picture, you can put the link where people to send, you know? And basically for those who maybe doesn't have the Photoshop skills, but they can start straight away, I would suggest to use at the beginning just paint while learning maybe some basic Photoshop things. So what you do, I would just super fast do this. I would go to my blog. I would take a little bit and copy it. 
I would go to paint and click on this little A button. And I would basically copy it in. And I would save it as a picture and upload it on Pinterest. I think there are some more. Uh, there are more sites where you can upload pictures, right? I have like really no idea, but I think like SlideShare, other places like that, DocStock. Quite a few. I, uh, yeah. I think that what they got Tumblr or something also is Photo also Bucket's a pretty good place too. Photo, Photo Bucket. bucket? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Photo Bucket and that kind of stuff. Well, but and I, all over social media. Yeah. So that's what I would do with the pictures. Uh, just that basic stuff. Uh, if we go back, actually, to a YouTube, when you create a YouTube video, right, if you click on this little transcript button, you can actually find everything you're saying. So you just can copy out this thing, right, and make it a blog post. Yeah, that's a great little strategy. Yeah, so... Make it simple yeah, for yourself. That picture thing would be my biggest one, and I, I would also create these kind of pictures for Facebook because just the basic text may not attract maybe to catch the eye because you know the uh, because the the timeline is running pretty fast. So if you add a nice picture or something with your blog a little bit, then it might catch people's eye. That would be one of my my main strategies. I would do with pictures, basically. Right back, guys. Uh, I th I think one of the biggest things that I've done is um, sometimes you know if you if you're crunched for time because a lot of people don't have time, um, Fiverr.com. You can always pay somebody five dollars to you know. You know, just random pictures if you want some kind of a banner made up or something like that, more professional looking. Just yeah, kind of exactly. look through there, and it's for those that don't know, it's f i v e r r dot com, and you can pretty much, I mean, there's there's all kinds of people that will go on there and offer their services for five dollars. Not to mention, you could do solo ads and things like that as well through this through the Fiverr dot com. But see, I've also learned too that. You know, you got to kind of watch what you're doing with some people because they will take your stuff and totally just, you know, rip you off. But hey, it's five bucks. You know, you're not out to lose a whole lot. And I'm I'm looking into another uh, venue as well that I've found that does a lot like Fiverr, but I'm not going to disclose that yet until I get a hundred percent, you know, information before I jump in both feet and start recommending it because, you know, I'm not going to throw my name on something and have it turn out to be crap because that's just bad business in my book. Just saying. Let's see. All right. Uh, well, let me. Um, what I use, uh, I use something kind of like kind of like Photoshop, but uh, I use two little two little programs, and it, I also use Paint like he was doing. I usually do when I when I'm like a like crunch for time. I usually just grab like a picture or something, put it on Paint, uh, write some text on it, and then yeah. you know save it. Uh, it's pretty simple. But uh, the real cool stuff, because I know that Photoshop or uh, programs like that uh, cost a lot of money, and if you don't have a techie friend that can give you uh, the, the free programs, <laughs> you know, you're going to have to spend, uh, you know, hundreds of dollars to that. But what I, what I uh, program called Ink, Inkscape, and it's actually an open source program where uh, it's uh, like Photoshop and uh, also another, I forgot what the other program is called, but uh, but in, in, in Inkscape is actually pretty cool uh, because you can act, you can actually do like uh, design like really like really cool stuff if once you once you learn how to how to do it. And the the other one that uh, that I use is GIMP. So GIMP GIMP two G I M P uh, that's that's kind of like Photoshop. And so it does like everything that Photoshop does, but it's an open source program, uh, and it's uh, for free. So you can actually download it for free. It's a free open source, uh, and and also Inkscape. And Inkscape is also is, is is free as well. And that one you can actually do little uh, pretty cool. Let me let me share my screen really fast. I want to show you something. Uh, this is not this is not one of my best works, but <laughs> my best work. But something I created for my blog really fast. It's, it's not that difficult to do. So can you guys see my screen? 
uh, no harm. Yeah, can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So this is this is something that I created uh, for my blog for the side banner on Inkscape. So as you can see, uh, you can just do the right. You can you can actually design like the you know the little arrows and do so. So you can actually do it like even more uh, like more elaborate if you want uh, with with Inkscape because it's actually like a like a graphic designing uh, program. So, so that's a pretty cool program. If you want to do like Photoshopping things, then you can use GIMP and GIMP, uh, and both of those programs are free. So, uh, usually, that's those are the two programs that I use to do my graphics, and uh, usually works out pretty good. Uh, uh, there is a little curving curve, but uh, I said, you know, like, you know, you, if you if you be creative, I like I love to be creative, so that's why I, I, I love to be able to use those programs. I've been, I've been using it for years actually. Cool stuff right there. <laughs> So, you guys know what's little, really awesome. A quiet right there, guys. <laughs> I'm standing here right now in my kitchen. Right, see this? It's dinner time, y'all, and I can still be on my hangout with y'all, working at time. home, taking care of my kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so here I am. I am a multitasking crazy woman. They say it's not good to multitask, but. I can hear you guys anywhere in the room that I'm at. I can still converse with y'all, and I can still cook my dinner. And I totally know what you guys are doing because you guys are freaking awesome. And get with any one of us. If y'all want a mentor to know what to do, how to do, where, where, what we're doing and how we're doing it, I guarantee any of us can teach you more in 10 minutes than most people will sit down and give you five minutes worth of time talking your ear off for nothing. You know, the value that we have to share. But guys, I hate to be a turkey, but obviously I have a big pot that is screaming at me, and I'm fixing to have five kids come barreling through that door wanting dinner. So I'm going to let you guys know. I appreciate it. Cedric, thank you so much for inviting me, dear. It has been a pleasure, and nice to meet you, Nestor and Ralph. You guys are awesome as well. Thank nice you. to meet you, Ralph. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi. That's a great pleasure. Hey, thanks, Cedric, for inviting us right here, too. Absolutely, cool. guys. Peace out, and That's I will absolutely. see you guys on the next Hangout. See you. All right. See, see you, you Holly. Holly. Uh, Holly. It's awesome, man. It's no, awesome. I, I think everybody, yeah. uh, just so you can show before you cut it out, uh, I, I mean, also, you're looking at your, at your wall, right? This, this is what I'm looking at. See, like, as you can see, this is my computer right here. And every day, my stuff is there, like, so I, I'm always looking at my... Uh, what 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 I want as well, uh, and it's like right in front of me. Like there's like no escape. It's like the, it's like every like the whole day, every day Absolutely. I'm looking at the at what I want. And that's something that um sort of, that we kind of we we mentioned right now. That's I just that. All right, take it. <laughs> hey, you know what? I was just gonna share this before I get off too. Here's what I do as far as uh. This is for people that have a Mac. And I want something that's free and that up this already comes with a Mac. You don't have to buy anything, you don't have to download download anything. Just come into a picture editor. Basically it's a previewer. And you can just take little things like a, a box and just draw it here. So where it has a fill. And then you can get another box that's got, you know, like uh, letters. And you can, you know, just uh, Click like right here, and it'll actually you know type out words. So but like just for that. Let me just kind of raise that a little bit, just to give you guys an idea. Obviously, it's not going to look pretty right now, but this just gives you just an idea of how you can do these things. And boom, you can add it in there, and then you can you know click on these things and. You know, make the box a little smaller or, or, or whatever it is you want to do, you know? Oops. You just do stuff like this. Now, that makes it just, you know, real simple. You just save it or duplicate it so you don't ruin the original picture. And that's just, you know, kind of how I do things. That, um, let's see here. I'll show you some other uh, pictures I've actually done that, are, that look a lot nicer.
Well, maybe I won't because this thing is running so slow. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll just put it in, you know, I'll put this in a blog and I'll show you guys on the blog, you know, like some pictures I've done and you guys will get the idea, you know, the strategy. So, let's see. Any uh, final closing thoughts for you guys? Mm. I don't have any ideas at the moment. No? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, well, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, you know, this is what we do. We blog online. We uh, There's so many different ways to share your content. As uh, Ralph's already showed you, you can put it on Pinterest or, you know, or Twitter or, you know, Tumblr, TypePad. Uh, check with Nestor if you want to get really good at, you know, using Cra uh, Craigslist. This guy has a dynamite uh, training for, for Craigslist. I, I can use Craigslist because I was getting uh, ghosted left and right, and then I watched his training, and now I, I know the, the secrets of the universe of Craigslist. <laughs> 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 and, you know, just follow us because uh, these guys are showing us really, really, really uh, strong uh, strategies on how to, you know, blog fast and, and um, rate good, good content and, you know, get your uh, your posts out there. So connect with us, no matter whose page you're watching this from. Just click the link on, underneath, connect with this person, let them uh, mentor you and show you how to get, you know, a lot more traffic quickly and to, you know, really the bottom line with Empower Network is it's going to change the way you think in a positive way. It's really going to, you know, start to empower you in your life by listening to the trainings, listening to the Inner Circle. All those things are the really key takeaways that we want to just leave you with is that it's not just about uh, making money. It's about, you know, upgrading your life and getting that lifestyle you always wanted, you always dreamed and deserved. And we know we can't connect with everybody. We, we realize that. And we're not here to connect with everybody. We're here to connect with people that really want to make a change in their life, that really want to go to the next level. And, and uh, I love kids. <laughs> Kids are so much fun. <laughs> the kids outside. But, yeah, we really want to just connect with the right people that want to, you know, go to a certain place in their life. So thank you again for watching. Again, click the link below, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Peace out.